So launching a medical device can be an incredible challenge. And some would even argue, is an accelerator any place for launching a medical device, something that could take years and years? And it's a, it's a reasonable question, because launching a medical device isn't just about technical innovation. It's about, are you solving a real problem in the world? A must-have, not a nice-to-have. Are there going to be customers there for it? How are you going to get through the regulatory process? How are you going to get reimbursed? How are you going to launch in the market? How are you going to get the market leaders to adopt it and bring along the mainstream after it? And so Tissue Analytics is a company that joined us from Baltimore and is really a fantastic example of how many of those questions can be answered in an extremely short period of time, especially when you have a really committed team that's making the most of all the advantages and opportunities that are brought to them by DreamIt, Penn, and IBC. So please welcome Tissue Analytics. Hello, I'm Kevin Keenahan, the CEO of Tissue Analytics. Tissue Analytics is transforming the smartphone into a sophisticated imaging and diagnostic platform for chronic wounds. Now, chronic wounds are the byproduct of the frailty associated with either aging or diabetic patients. Essentially, these patients have a multitude of underlying chronic conditions that actually impair the body's ability to heal. So these patients end up with these open skin wounds that don't heal for months and often years. And every day these wounds are left open, the patient is increasingly subject to infection, amputation, and death. And this problem is only getting bigger. As the number of diabetic and elderly patients increases in the US, we simply will not have the infrastructure necessary to appropriately care for all these wounds. This is true in part because there's not enough doctors who specialize in wound care. So patients end up being managed at all these peripheral care facilities like nursing homes and home health care groups. And even when patients can get in to see a doctor, the tools at their disposal are incredibly crude. I'm not kidding when I say the state of the art for tracking a wound over time is literally a ruler. I, I thought I'd spare putting an actual picture of a wound up on here, but just imagine that black circle is a wound. Um, doctors and nurses, they use a ruler to characterize and track a wound over time. But this is so variable and prone to error that it means the doctors can't actually see if the wound is healing or not. This means they can't see if the treatment's working, so they're largely in the dark. Now, just to recap the last few slides, there's 8.5 million patients who are affected, and it's a $30 billion market, and the only way we have to measure these wounds is with a ruler. Uh, this is actually a pretty similar problem to what occurred in radiology over the last couple decades. Radiologists used to print out these big physical sheets of film and put them up on a light box and measure lesions with a ruler. The, first, the big advance in this field was the shift from these uh, analog images to digital. Now, radiologists sit in front of these incredibly elaborate workstations with a rich depth of analytical capabilities at their disposal. Moreover, they actually don't have to be where the patient is. They can manage patients from all across the country, making geography irrelevant. That's what we do for wound care. But fortunately for wound patients, we don't need to deploy million-dollar MRIs or CT scanners into every nursing home in the country. The solution to this problem is already carried in the pocket of every single nurse when they see patients today. The insight we had is that we can use the camera on the smartphone to deliver the same quality analytics that radiologists have when they sit in front of their pack stations today. So now for the first time ever, doctors can see with decimal level accuracy how the wound is changing over time. We developed a set of image analysis algorithms that essentially standardized the wound documentation process. So from just a digital photograph of the wound, we can see precisely how the dimensions of the wound, the surface area, and even the tissues inside the wound are changing over time. This allows doctors to see with unprecedented accuracy exactly how the wound is responding to the specific treatment. So we have a mobile app that allows nurses to send photos from the point of care, the patient's own home in most cases, or a nursing home, directly to the doctor's desktop. The doctor can log in and manage all their patients simultaneously. They can see which treatments work and which treatments don't work with our analytics. They use our analytics to inform their own clinical decision making. So you may be wondering at this point, how do we get paid? Uh, one of the advantages of the DREAM program is the, the really unparalleled access to payers out there, one of which being Independence Blue Cross. So through these conversations, we actually confirmed the use of an existing reimbursement code. So every time a doctor logs onto their system and reviews one of their established patients, they can actually bill uh, a procedure, uh, CPT code. Our revenue model is taking a percentage of every photo that's transmitted through the system. Given the number of wound patients and the frequency at which they have to be evaluated, this is a nearly $2 billion market if we were to manage every wound patient through our system. 
Now, one of the other beauties of this system is it is a medical device, but it's actually not subject to FDA clearance or approval at this time. This is because there's a new set of guidelines around mobile medical apps and medical image communication systems. So we actually, we worked with our legal team at Dwayne Morris. Uh, to, Dwayne Morris is here, thank you. Um, we actually went down to the FDA and um, confirmed exactly what features we could include in this first version of the product, all avoiding um, FDA regulation. We have developed an, a second entire set of features um, from blood flow analysis to 3D modeling, but those are more on the diagnostic side. So we're waiting for a 510K next year. We spent a good portion of our time in Dream It building relationships with some of the leading wound care clinicians out there. And it was through these relationships we now have six committed pilot sites. So in just a few short months, we'll have 3,000 patients who are being managed through the system each and every day. We expect to be turning over about $15,000 a month in revenue just from these six pilot sites. Uh, most people aren't um, too familiar with how prevalent wound care is actually. But the vast majority of hospitals and nursing homes in the country deal with wound care on a daily basis. Given the, the simplicity of our system and the ease of implementation, we expect to be managing over a million wound patients by the end of next year. Uh, one of the questions we get most often is, how did we even get involved in wound care in the first place? It's far from a glamorous market. Um, we, were, we were fortunate to do our graduate studies at the Center for Bioengineering Innovation and Design at Johns Hopkins. It's a program that pairs engineers with clinicians. Uh, we get to rotate through a multitude of different clinical environments, one of which was the wound clinic. Uh, we saw firsthand how inefficient and archaic wound care is. We saw doctors and nurses you know, measuring these wounds with a ruler, and we thought, that's absurd. There has to be a better way. So we built a team together uh, and set off to solve what turns out to be one of the biggest unmet needs in healthcare today. Now, we've been absolutely thrilled by the response we've gotten from our clinical champions, um, and we appreciate this support thus far, um, but this is just the beginning. We're raising around to expand beyond these six pilots and address a much larger population of patients. Tissue analytics is going to fundamentally redefine how wound care is delivered in this country, and we hope you'll join us for that journey. Thank you.